So here's an example. Let's see what we're doing here. It says the average temperature in degrees Celsius versus the gas consumed in cubic feet for a house that has just installed insulation was collected from random winter days. So here's our data set. We have temperature in the first column, gas consumed in the second column. We have to decide what kind of analysis we're going to do. Um, this looks to either be a regression or a correlation analysis because we have two different variables. Um, all the other analysis we did usually are analyzing the same variable. If you have two different ones, then you're going to be doing a regression and correlation because you want to know how they relate to each other. So we now know we're doing a regression correlation. All right, so now we have to decide which one we're going to do those. So let's see what happens. Um, the first thing you have to do is decide what is your predictor variable and what is your um, explanatory variable. The explanatory variable explains what's happening to the predictor variable. In this case, temperature probably would explain how much gas you're going to consume. If it's warmer, you're going to consume less. If it's colder, you're going to consume more. So um, we have x is the average temperature, y is the gas consumed, therefore. Usually we use x for um, explanatory variable and y for predictor. Now the question wants to know, you want to know how strong is the linear relationship between the average temperature versus the gas consumed for a house that has just installed installation. So, noticing here we're going to do things on the TI-83 or 84. You can do it on anything you want. You can use R, you can use Excel, which isn't that great. Um, there's a lot of other statistical packages out there. It's up to you which one you want to use. This example will show you how to use the calculator. Um, you're going to put your x's into L1, and you're going to put your y's into L2. Um, then you will go into the stat menu, move over to tests, and select the LINREG t-test. Um, this is known as the linear regression t-test. Granted, we're not testing anything here, but that's okay. We can still go down and do it. Um, when you pull this up, you're going to get L1 and L2 for X list and Y list. Leave everything else alone and just go down to the word calculate. When you do that, the results you get um, look like this. It's a lot more to the results, and if you arrow down, you get this second page. I pretty much just wanted to show you everything that was on here. But looking at this, you can see that the correlation coefficient is what we're looking for because correlation actually measures how strong something is. So we're looking for R, which is the sample correlation coefficient. And in this case, R is equal to negative 0.748, roughly. Um, we might want to interpret what that means. So let's think about um, what that would look like. Um, so this looks like it's negative because we got the negative sign there. So that means as x is increasing, y is actually going to be decreasing. Um, it also is not incredibly high. Remember the highest r can be is 1 or negative 1. It's fairly close to negative 1, though not completely. So this one we might actually call a negative moderate correlation. This is somewhat subjective. I wouldn't call an R of negative 0.2 a negative moderate. I certainly wouldn't call it a negative strong. But if you wanted to call this one moderate or strong, you could probably do that. And that's all there is to collect grading, getting a correlation coefficient.